Hey guys, this is Red Frost, and welcome back to Blizzard's Heroes of the Storm. Now, they've just done like a quick update to the client, and they've practically reset everything. So, for the time being, they're actually showing off all of the different characters because they're actually free to test for the time being. The shop has gone offline, or so they say. <laughs> But since they've made a few changes and added a few uh, more heroes, I decided to make a quick video to show you guys some of the changes. Now in this case, I'd like to go through each and every one of the heroes to show you, well, the two new ones, which in this case would be Chen Stormstout and Regar the Shaman. And I want to show you the new Master Skins. So let's start, shall we? Well, hello. It's Chen Stormstout, Brewmaster. Not bad, not bad. I feel that his beard, or his, um, I don't know, technically is that a beard? Technically it's sideburns. A little bit too long, but other than that, he's looking good. But, get this. He also has a Warmaster Chen skin, which just looks so awesome. Kind of makes me wish this existed in World of Warcraft. That would make for an awesome monk skin or... I don't know. That doesn't look like a male. That'd be good for like a... I don't know, druid or something? Especially with uh, this bear thing on the front. That looks awesome. Too bad we can't see his face. I think he has a faceplate or something on. I can't really tell from this angle. But it looks good. Take all the time you need. For if we never take time... How can we have time? Sure. Now, no here's Regar. Very nice, very nice. Uh, so far, the only orc in the game. I was kind of hoping they'd add Thrall or someone. I don't know. So we have the Iron Claw skin, which is awesome. Look at that. And as always, you know, there's the color variation. This one kind of makes it look like a black rock orc. This one is more of a fell orc. This is the classic look. I like the spikes and everything. It goes with the whole horde theme. But the helmet itself kind of reminds me of Deathway and such. It's just so awesome. Look at that. And there's the master skin. Which, according to this, you achieve hero level 10 in order to unlock. And it's this. Which is reminiscent to some of the armor... That came out in Cataclysm. I hate sitting on the sidelines. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. And it has little ghost wolves on the shoulders, so that reminds me of some of the challenge mode armors, which is great. Speak, Ten. Here we have Zagara again, but now we have the hero skin. Sorry, the master skin. Which is like... Super... Mega Zagara, in a way? Not that much of a difference, but... Damn, does it look creepy. Next up, we have little Murky. But he doesn't have a master skin so far. Hello! I am happy to meet you! Here we have Brightwing. And her master skin. Nice little touch of color there. The horns. Excuse me. Not bad, not bad. For being one of the creepiest creatures in the game, it definitely looks pretty. Hi there. We got Lily, which gets a very nice... I don't even know how to describe it, it just looks nice. The, the whole butterfly theme and everything. It's cute, it's cute. It really is. And even the Master Skins have color variation. So not bad. Not bad at all. <laughs> yeah. Tychus Finley. And we go to Master Skin. He becomes even more badass. Look at that. Now, as far as I know, the skins themselves don't really affect the hero. But man, does it stand out when you're in game. <sighs> what more? Here's Stitches, and his Master Skin. Nice little royalty nod there. 
king to oh crap he still doesn't have any pants <laughs> that's gross but yeah now he's royalty cute all will serve me in death now arthas's master skin is awesome look at that it's not like the lich king is more of a lich emperor of sorts i mean look at those shoulders I mean, it has been said that shoulders in Warcraft are a sign of status. This is just insane. <laughs> I love the cape too, and the helmet is just... It's kind of like combining the Lich King helmet with uh, Sindragosa in a way. It's its so good. And I've actually learned to enjoy Arthas. He's actually a very nice hero. Speak, minion. Now we have Diablo. And we have Master Diablo, which is just... Armored to the teeth. <laughs> now this looks awesome. Look at that. Holy crap. Your presence honors me. Tyrael becomes sort of like an archangel of sorts. Which is actually kind of nice. I like the armor and everything. The only thing I really don't like about this skin is the sword. I actually prefer the original sword. But... Eh, what can you do? Let's rock! Elitor and Chieftain doesn't have a master skin so far. The ancients watch over us. But Sonya gets some legendary armor from Diablo. Or well actually no, it's not really legendaries. But they do look nice. It's a nice standout, and again, you can change the colors. Which also changes the colors of her war paint. Which is awesome. What can I do for you? Moradin has quite a nice change because you can see him here. He's armored and everything. He has an ogre. Uh, he has ogre skulls in his back and everything. It's rather nice. But the master skin takes it to a whole new level. I mean, look at the weapons. The weapons themselves look badass. I mean, they look like stuff you'd get from Ulduar or something. And his shoulders and helmet are from ICC. It just looks so badass. I am the sword. So we have Kerrigan. And now she's like Super Mega Neon Kerrigan. Holy crap. Looks so good. And in fact, it almost looks as though her Zerg changes are becoming a lot more pronounced in this form, which is awesome. Nova here. Nova goes very cyberpunky in a way. Because she has that whole I don't know, sort of special ops things going on, and she has that holographic hair thingy. It looks good, looks really good. And no matter what skin you choose for her, that ass. <laughs> here How's we have going, Falstad and Falstad. Just goes rocking with this one. Not only does his griffin get armor, or rather different kind of armor, he himself just looks too good with that mohawk. Look at that. It's just so good. I mean, the quality of it, it, it really wants, it ma makes you want to level up the character just to get these skins. And again, the color variation, which changes both the griffin and Murden himself. Yeah, sorry, false stat. I'm Horde, guys. I don't know Alliance. <laughs> How may I help? So here we have the Demon Hunter. Now that's a Demon Hunter. Wow. Look at that. Nice little detail with the wings. I like the shoulders with the wings. The helmet. The helmet is just so badass. It almost even looks like a, uh, a warlock thing from World of Warcraft. It's just insane. Who dare? Illidan just by himself is badass, but Master Illidan is even more so. I want this armor in World of Warcraft. This is insane. Uh, I could I, I could imagine this being something for, I don't know, Shaman or something, because it kind of looks like male armor in a way, but that helmet, dude, that just looks so good. And it keeps with the whole demonic theme of Illidan. What's the story? Jimmy Raynor? fine the way he is but now he's like tactical Rainer look at the symbol on his shoulder 
the gun's even better. He has a little bit more reflective services. He has a thing on this uh, on his eye, so he can uh, use the I would imagine rocket launchers on his. Uh, what would you call that? That's technically the top of his suit, but it just looks great, guys. It's awesome. My only concern is that you probably won't be noticing it that much while in game, but we'll see. We'll see because I like Jimmy. So I might actually level this guy up just so I can test out this skin. It's so good. Greetings, friend. Now, next we have Zeratul. And Zeratul pretty much turns into a Predator. Look at that. That is just awesome. Now, I myself am not that big a fan of Zeratul, mostly because I don't know how to use them. But man, this armor looks so good. And even in the different colors, it still looks badass. In fact, it even looks a little bit more predatorish that way. Amazing. Hail, stranger. Uh, Uther doesn't change all that much. He gets a helmet and a few things. His weapon changes a little bit. It's more like add-ons more than anything. But even so, it looks so good. Kind of makes me want to try to transmogrify this for a paladin in World of Warcraft. It's just so awesome looking. If only we could get shoulders like those, man. I am listening. Malfurion sadly doesn't have a master skin yet. Hail Executor. Tassadar looks badass. Not only does he get a helmet, he has I don't know, a few additions to his armor, which makes him look that much more badass. It's excellent. Although still my favorite is Mecha Tassadar, because I mean come on guys. How can you not love this? May light your path. Tyrand doesn't change that much. A few more add-ons and such. The wings in the back are actually kind of nice. The weapon is a nice little detail. The helmet though, I don't know. It goes with the whole Night Elf theme. But I feel it doesn't actually fit her all that much. I mean the shoulders I like. I mean look at the comparison. To a certain extent, I like to see her face a little bit more, but eh, it's still a hero skin. It's very nice. Her master skin, sorry. Welcome. Nazebo doesn't actually have one just yet. Hey, how's it going? Neither does Gazlo. Spin sequences. Good. Now, Abathur. I've yet to learn how you use Abathur. Abathur is not. It's not difficult but it gets some getting used to thing is I haven't actually played him but this master skin makes me want to play I mean look at that oh my god he has spun his sequences he has evolved and he has turned into like a mega zerg look at that it's awesome and even in the different colorations, it still looks badass. In fact, it makes him even relate more to the Zerg, in a way. If you could even think that possible. Just got her washed. Then we have Sergeant Hammer, which hasn't uh, had any upgrades. Well, hello. And we're back to Chan. Yeah, so as always, you can buy the skin separately. Uh, you can buy the different mounts. There's no change there so far. Uh, and there's bundles now, new bundles. We have the Chen bundle, the Assassin bundle, which includes particularly the, the swarm. yeah, the Assassin heroes. How's it going, Lottie? <laughs> yeah. I am the swarm. Curiously enough, it doesn't actually include uh, Jim Rayner, which is actually kind of odd. But I'm guessing you get him for free anyway. I mean, it wasn't when I started the Alpha, so I don't know what's going on there. There's the Warrior Bundle, which includes Arthas, Sonya, the and Diablo. Speak, then we have the Support Bundle, so it's mostly like healers and stuff. Which is actually kind of odd, because it only includes Tyran, Tessadar, and Uther. Hail, stranger. So we don't get Lily or any other support character in here, like Tessadar. Uh, sorry, um, uh, Abathur. Then we got the Beat 
Meltdown Bundle, which is basically the damage dealers in the group, I am the swarm. which include Kerrigan, Diablo, and Tassadar. Hail, exec. We got the heavy hitters, which includes Arthas, Tychus, and Uther, Hail, stranger. because they really do hit hard, guys. It's one of the reasons I like Arthas so much. All will serve me in death. And last but not least, we have Heroes of the Light. So basically, you know, heroic characters. Tyran, Falstad, and Sonya. The ancients watch over us. Yeah, so there you have it, folks. These are the changes that have been added to Heroes of the Storm as of late. Now, they're about to reset everybody and everything. So there might come some other changes. When that happens, I'll be sure to make another video. Uh, I admit I haven't been playing uh, Heroes of the Storm as much as I probably should. But who knows, there's still some time left. Uh, I'm mostly focusing on the Warlords of Draenor beta. But as time goes on, you might actually see more of this in the future. So as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.